seat sharing is concerned uh, between the TMC and the Congress. We are given to understand as per sources that the TMC is ready to give two seats to Congress, uh, which is Behrampur and Malda Dakshin. And the TMC has sought one seat in Meghalaya from Congress. Remember, the High Command of the Congress Party had a meeting yesterday with the Bengal Congress Unit and the Congress Party was uh, seeking at least six seats. What we are given to understand is that the TMC in fact is ready to give only two seats. Those are Behrampur and Malda Dakshin. So uh, clearly as far as uh, seat sharing is concerned, there are going to be multiple hurdles. At this point of time, Congress seeking six seats from TMC in West Bengal and TMC is currently ready to only give two seats to the Congress party. What we are also given to understand is that as far as uh, the Congress party uh, seeking these seats and contesting with the TMC as part of the alliance in the Lok Sabha is concerned, the local leadership uh, is not very happy. Kostav Bakchi, in fact, from the Congress has written to Mallikarjun Kharge uh, and has cited uh, reasons why the Congress party should not contest Lok Sabha polls with TMC. Now, according to Mr. Kostav Bakchi, if this alliance comes through, then the Congress party will lose credibility. He has also in the letter mentioned an alliance with TMC would mean taking up on their corruption charges. This of course uh, is taking place at a time when the INC leadership has just held a meeting in the national capital with the Bengal Congress leaders regarding seat sharing in which the Congress wanted six seats from TMC in West Bengal and TMC is ready to give only two seats. We have Adrija joining us with more details. Adrija, this is not the first time that the uh, Congress local leadership in West Bengal has expressed its opinion against, uh, you know, this alliance coming through when they asked, uh, you, uh, you, you know how the TMC has unleashed uh, its goons against us. That was one of the netas saying, how can you sit next to Mamta Banerjee during these meetings? And now Kostav Bakshi has written a letter to Malikarjun Kharge addressing the issue. He says, our image will take a hit if we fight the Lok Sabha elections with TMC. Well, absolutely. You see, Kostav Bakchi, uh, not for the first time, raising his voice against the fact that even though Congress and TMC might fight together under the India Alliance, but in West Bengal particularly, Congress have al always been saying that, you know, we have no intentions of uh, sit, uh, doing an alliance with the TMC. And uh, this is exactly what comes out through the letter written by Kostav Bakchi, where he clearly mentions that, uh, you know, if we are ally uh, if we are going in alliance with the TMC, first of all, we have have to take uh, equal responsibility for their corruption charges which is huge in the state of West Bengal and second of all he mentions that one of the reasons why BJP in the recent years have become the main opposition party in the state of West Bengal is because Congress is accused by accused to go soft on the TMC and this alliance would only prove that anticipation of the people and therefore in the future he will uh, not be able to uh, you know Congress will not be able to be back in power and gain ground. Let's quickly take a look at that letter. Shivya is joining us from the news pit with more details on that. Shivya, over to you. Yes, so we have accessed this uh, letter which perhaps was written on an email uh, to Malikarjun Kharge and it reads out and I quote, Although in national perspective we need to defeat BJP but forming an alliance with TMC would have its own uh, pitfalls. Trinamool Congress leadership's reputation is marred by credible corruption charges. If Congress tries to form alliance with Trinamool Congress, we have to take responsibility for all the corruption of uh, TMC leaders against which Congress fought all along. Unlike the rest of the country, in West Bengal, the politics revolves around TMC. BJP has gained ground lately because Congress is considered too soft on Trinamool, the ruling party. At this juncture, if we form an alliance with Trinamool, BJP would increase its vote share being the sole opposition of Trinamool Congress and Congress would not have any ground to come back in 2026 assembly elections. So, of course, as Persians have been casted when it comes to an alliance with the TMC at national level for 2024 elections.